Hello friends, I'm Parwes and this is our 8th video in PyQt5 GUI development. In this video, we're going to talk about creating uh, labels and also line edits in PyQt5. So basically in this example, we're going to use QLineEdit, QLabel with QPushButton together. So now let's start our coding. The first thing we need, we are going to uh, design our user interface. So for this, I'm going to just open the terminal in the PyCharm ID and I'm going to just say PyQt5 Designer. So this is my designer and I'm going to use QWidget. So now let's design our window. The first thing I need, I need to change the title of the window. And for the title, uh, you can just change it from here. So, by QT5, Q label, and Q line edit. So, after this, the first thing we need, we need to add a label. So, you can come down and you can find the label in here in the display widget. So, I'm going to change this to name. And after that, we need to add a line edit. So we are going to just grab a line edit and drag it in here. So after a uh, line edit and also our this uh, label, uh, now we need to add another label. So like this, also a Q push button. Uh, I want to make an example when a user write the name in here and if uh, he clicks on the button I want to change the text of this label so let me just add a push button in here uh, let me change the title of the push button to click now I've already talked about layout management now for these two I'm going to use uh, hbox layout and also for these two we need an hbox layout So layout horizontally like this and now we are going to just uh, uh, make a layout for our window and I want it should be uh, not horizontal sorry I want a vertical layout for the window like this now let me just make it smaller uh, after this we need to just change the uh, ID for these the object name so for the name I'm going to just give it a label name and for this line edit I don't want to change and for this text for this label I want label result and uh, so the click is there is no problem it's push button after this you need to save your this design uh, let me just save this and line edit or we can just make the label.ui so let me just change this yes so after saving you need to copy your UI file and paste it in here paste and paste <laughs> now it's time to convert our this label.ui uh, this label.ui file to a Python file. Now there are two ways that you can do this. Uh, the first way is that you can just uh, load the UI file as we have already done in our uh, previous lessons. Uh, the second way is uh, that you can convert your this uh, uh, label.ui file to Python file. So in this uh, lesson we want to convert this. Now you can do you can convert using uh, a module that's called PyYUIC5. Now, if you see in my PyCharm ID where I have installed my Python, so it's program files, Python 3.7, and in Python 3.7, we have a folder that's called the scripts. Now, in the scripts, we have a file that's called PyYUIC5, so this is the file. 
So using this we can convert our uh, .ui file to Python file. The first thing is that you can uh, you need to uh, copy and paste your label.ui in here. So I'm going to just paste in the script folder. Okay, now this is my label.ui. And after this, uh, we are going to just come down. Uh, you can use terminal, uh, but I'm using uh, PyCharm terminal. So, and here we can just say open in terminal. And So this is our terminal and you can see the pot, it's uh, python 3.7 and a scripts folder. Uh, now we can just say pyuic5 and after that you need to write your label, uh, your UI name that we have already copied in here, it's label.ui-o it's output and now you need to give uh, the name that you want, so I want to give it uh, my label example.py and after that just hit enter okay now we want to check our scripts folder and you can see that we have my label example.py in here let me just cut this file and paste it in here and uh, so where is it my label example now this is our file and uh, generated file and we have uh, converted this uh, so we have our push buttons now let me just run this now you can see that we have our label uh, so this is the title, our label, line edit, and also this is our button. Uh, now, for adding functionality, we need to create a method. Okay, now, so come down, and in here we need to just create a diff, I call it click btn. So now the first thing we need, we need to get uh, the user input from our line edit or text input so now if you see in here for example when a user type in here a name I want to get this name from this line edit uh, so for this we can use uh, so we can do like this we can just now if you see in here uh, this is our line edit object name and we can just say self dot line edit dot text so using text method or function you can get the user input from the line edit now if you print this so let me just print name and now I want to connect this button this click uh, between method with my push button oh, where is it my yeah now it's push button and we can just say self dot push button dot clicked so it's a signal that's related to a Q push button and we need to connect this with the click btn now let me run this now if I write a name in here and if I click you can see that we are receiving the output in the console now we want to set this output to the label that we have so for this now we are going to just come in here let me comment this and if you see for the label object name it's label result we can just say solve dot label result dot set text we can use set text and we want to set name now we are going to just run this again If I write something in here, click, now you can see. And if I click it again, you can see that we are receiving the output in the label. 
Um, you can change the color of the label and you can uh, change the font so now let me show you how you can do this so in the label result first we want to change the font so self dot label result dot set font and for this we need to import a, a class from pyqt5.qt GUI we are going to import Q font so first you need to give the type of the font it's sans serif and also the size it's 15 so now we can see it's changed and if I write something in here and the text has changed okay now for adding color we can just say solve dot label result dot set style sheet and we are going to just say background color and I want it should be yellow Now the background is yellow. Uh, I think I also can change the color of the text. Uh, let me just... I'm not sure but I think I should change this. So self.label result dot set style sheet. This time I'm going to use color. And for the color I want red. Now if I run this now you can see the uh, text color has changed now uh, thank you guys if you want the source code uh, of this design dot uh, this file uh, you can just check the video description I will add the source code in the video description